Wow. Okay, there we go. Alright, uh, what's up, YouTubers? Or YouTuber... YouTube... YouTube... Tubers? Does tubers work? I don't know. How does that sound? Tubers. What's up, tubers? What's up, YouTubers? What's up, internet people, as the wine cone likes to say? Um, anyways, Rich, 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 Rob. Yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna talk about. Let's talk about my day. Yeah, let's talk about my day. Let's talk about a day in the life of me. 5.30 a.m., of course. I usually leave around 6, say 6 o'clock. I live at 6. I gotta get to work by 7. Because I do construction, you know, it varies here to there. Um, it could be 5 minutes from the house. could be 5 hours from the house. Okay, I'm lying. Okay, it's never 5 hours. I mean, well, unless, of course, I'm working out, like, in the Hamptons or something, which did happen once, and... I did get, but my room was paid for, and I did stay at a castle, and I did um, hang out with models. Yeah, but usually not five hours. You know, Friday, stairs and windows. So basically, I had to put in some stairs and some windows. Wow. Instead of stairs, but it was 14 risers, maybe? 14 or 15 risers, I don't know, whatever code is, it was like the most you can do. It was like 10 windows to put in. I had two other guys there, so it wasn't too bad, pretty easy stuff. We actually finished around 9.30 in the morning. Um, so we all split after that. You know, everybody had something else to do. One guy had to go and uh, look at another job, bid another job. The one guy had to go do some shit at his house, and I had to go to my project house and do some work myself. So I went and got some food, and then ran over to Home Depot. I had to grab some Tyvek and some... Uh, uh, a chisel and you know a couple of little things because I had to do some hardwood floor um, weaving it in or whatnot. 11 a.m. say I don't know why I went 11 a.m. No. 11 a.m. like it's I don't know all right so I get there I get there and um, I'm wondering yeah you know, or you know I, I, I can I got there's a bunch of things I gotta do basically I decided I would gut the bathroom just totally gut it to the studs because the plumber has to come in and do everything new. Um, it's old, it's ugly, black, black. Nasty shit. Anyways, it was black, black tile. Interesting color choice. Um, the bathroom is basically old. Yeah. Old, 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 old. So, um, I don't know how to explain it to people who don't do construction and don't really know what materials are in built houses are built with or anything. I don't know how to put it. There's, there's different materials to build walls with. Today, uh, most houses I would say are built, or at least in the US, and maybe Canada and most other places around the world, um, are built with sheetrock. Sheetrock, yes. Um, unfortunately, back in the day, way back when, they didn't have sheetrock. So they used um, plaster, plaster walls, plaster Paris, and also they used in bathrooms where they had the tile, they used um, wire lap, wire lap and mud. So basically what they did was you have the wooden studs and you put wire mesh. That's, that's mesh. They put wire mesh um, over top of it. And they then put mud you know, like an inch of mud, which mud is cement, not mud, dirt, not dirt, mud. Mud is, cement's called mud, not dirt. Okay, got that? Cement, mud. Um, they put mud, about an inch, and then they put tile on top of that. So it's, and then, in a, I don't know when, how to most to put it, but it's, it takes a while to take out. You know, if um, removing sheetrock is doing addition, then removing wire lap and tile mud that is like doing calculus to say in layman's terms maybe so yeah we did that i did that and that took hours and hours and hours and hours and hours basically i was there from about 11 a.m i would say until around 7 7 30 at night um oh and uh, yeah did i tell you that my electrician cut all the power in the house so basically all I had was a flashlight. Oh, whoa, 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 wait, wait, wait. Did you get that? You get that right there? That, that's right there. That's that. That's the sign for flashlight. See that? Well, I'm pretty, pretty good at this stuff, right? And yeah, that's the new sign for flashlight. See, see, wine cone. You, you, you ain't the only one that could, that can come up with. Yeah. It's like a bathroom in the middle of the house, so it doesn't have windows. So, yeah, I worked by flashlight for however many hours that is. Um. 
That was my day at work. It gets better. It doesn't end there. Oh, no, no, no. It gets better. I swear it does. Um, so, so then I have to go home, right? I had to get home. I, it, it's no, no, no. Home's not five minutes down the road. Home's not two minutes down the road. My home home, the, not my, not the project home, but my regular home that I live in um, is about an hour away. It's uh, 50 miles exactly. Well, maybe like 52 miles exactly um, away. So I, it's about an hour ride. Uh, hour and 10 minutes probably. Yeah, more like that. Um, anyways, so I had to drive home. I don't get home until around 8, 30, 9 o'clock. Uh, I decide to cook myself dinner. I get. I actually just made tuna melts. I can't really call that cooking, can you? I mean, you melt tuna. Or, or, no, not really. You melt cheese, and that's about it. I can't call that cooking. But anyway, that's what I had for dinner. I had tuna, tuna melt. I had tuna melts for dinner, and um, I did like two loads of laundry. Took a shower. Um, and by that time, it was probably around 11 where I decided to come on to YouTube, look around for a little bit, and then go to sleep so I could do it all over again. Yeah, and that was that was a Friday night. So, yeah, that was a Friday night. Not that there's anything wrong with that. 